Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Man Eater on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And that jet engine sound in the background is of course the PlayStation as you'd expect. It's angry. Getting angry at this game and the fact that it's hot as hell up in this damn room, man. It is really hot in our office right now. Uh, I think because it really just wants us to take our clothes off. Mm hmm Yeah, we didn't it's hot. Get naked. Go ahead. <laughs> just do it. I kinda feel like our PlayStation, yeah, is a little bit of a pervert. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> He's got that little winky eye at us. Yep. <laughs> I don't trust electronics. Jinx doesn't. Machines. She's always she's always talking about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit this spot up before we go do the story quest guys uh so yeah we'll head on over here eat a bear yeah we'll eat a barracuda along the way because they're delicious mm -hmm. uh so if you're looking for anything to watch in this one video that we do a day here with this series isn't enough maybe go check out our new series guys where we are playing minecraft dungeons a very different game than this obviously uh, as i can't recommend it if you know just because you're enjoying this one. But if you are liking our commentary and just enjoying uh, chilling with us, then maybe you'll enjoy that series. Uh, even though it is more of a... Uh, that guy is swimming naked. Yeah, he is. Or from, who's doing more than Jump who's swimming in. in the air. Get you that fat fiesta. I just feel like we need to yeah. drag him out to the middle of the ocean and see what's going on here. Is he naked? Oh, uh, okay, I see. He's wearing skin-colored <laughs> shorts. Were those shorts? I thought it was, it looked like, to me, he had a G-string. Oh. No, it, it seemed like a G-string to me. We're seeing man. very different things here. It seemed like a G-string to me, I guess. I think my brain <laughs> censors shit for me. Like really bad stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, like, You don't want to see? You don't want to see that. Just, he's wearing clothes, that's fine. <laughs> uh, and maybe my brain does the opposite. I don't know. Just, just makes everybody naked. Yeah. Makes them wear G-strings. <laughs> yeah. And I swear I don't want to see that man in a G-string, guys. I Can't swear. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe me now. Like, yeah, we're sure, Praetorian. You mm -hmm. don't want We know. You guys know me too well. So let's... No let's, fooling you. Yeah, but let's go in here, guys. And uh, see if this is where... It, I don't actually know. You know what? It might actually be on the other side of that. This might lead us there. You know what? We'll try. Let's go in here. We'll see if it leads us on over to the other side of this. Uh, but yeah, I think it's over there is the uh, the adult grate that we're looking for that will lead us mm -hmm. to the uh, story mission. Which again, the story mission is just eating more groupers, guys. We need to turn the TV down just a little notch. That's all it's been is the grouper missions. Yeah, well, that's what this upcoming story mission is. Yeah, either. Right, we'll go ahead and kill him, guys. Just because. He seems a little bit more sluggish. Either that or we're just. Yeah, we're just. Has. He just can't handle us, Jinx. Dang. And that got us level 12. So we just got bigger, guys. Oh, man, did they just spawn more enemies in here? I think they did. Just because I leveled up? <laughs> Oh, there were some really great name suggestions. Oh, yeah. I think my favorite probably was Tiffany. Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany. I was thinking that that was the one we were going to go with. There was some other ones, too, like Bubbles. Yeah, there. I really liked Bubbles. I was like, oh, Bubbles, yeah. Oh, you were smacking. But then I saw Tiffany, and I was like, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go with Tiffany. No, that, that's going to be her name, guys. Griefs. The are yeah, they just, just keep ridiculous. spawning. Yeah, they just keep spawning. And that's why I don't get in fights with these guys, because then they call all their cousins and their brothers, and it's like a little gang of them. Like, I don't like when games gator do that. Gang. They just magically. Mm -hmm. Well, this one didn't actually spawn. He came from under there. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure that this one did. But the one before know. him did spawn, like right in front of us. He looks like a wizard gator. <laughs> so I don't know where we're going, guys. We're going to go down here, though. Is that an adult grate? Yep. I don't know if that's the one we needed to go through. That's the one you got. Uh, and it is telling us this is 10 groupers that we need to kill. So yeah, this is it right here, guys. And it looks like we didn't actually need to go through an adult grate to do this mission. 
Wow. What? We could have done this it's mission forever ago. Grate. It's just at the adult grate, and I assumed you had to have it, I guess. Mm. Wow. So we were supposed to do this mission a long time ago. Oh, well. Oh, well. We we've been. Went and ventured into the new we've been area doing our. Anyway. Yeah, we've been doing our own thing, guys. We don't give a shit. Tell me how to live my life. Mm -hmm. We'll play a game how we want to. We bought this damn thing. <laughs> And we actually did buy the game too. Need one more grouper. We asked for this game for free, and we didn't get it, unfortunately. Yeah, because they said no. We need that YouTuber money. You gotta be first. <laughs> <laughs> get this here. Why don't you guys race for it? <laughs> race for it? What? The YouTubers. <laughs> the you know this shark is nearly insatiable. Yeah, what I was going to say is that, uh, is that really the hole that was in here? Is it just that thing? That's it. Okay. Well, whatever. I guess you had to come down here for, to do the mission anyway. Uh, but you know, the, the reason why the, a lot of these developers who know what they're doing, uh, grant the game, uh, for free to, to YouTubers. And I have people ask me this all the time, like, why do they even give this shit to, you know, give you free games? Mm -hmm. Is because it's, it's actually very profitable for them. Like, think about it. Like, yes, the YouTuber might have bought the game if you hadn't given it to him for free. But he might not have done it as well. I don't know how many times we asked for a free game and we were only going to play it if we got it for free simply because we had limited funds to, to buy games that month. And so, you know, that just wasn't one of the priority games. Uh, and if they give it to us for free, we do cover it. Or how many times somebody, a developer, emails a game to us and, uh, you know, we weren't going to cover it. Uh, but because we have it for free and we have a code, we decided to cover it or at least do a couple videos of it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you got to think about it. It's it's one one code, one game price that you might not have even gotten. You know, so you're giving up whatever the, the cost of the game is. And you might not have even gotten that if you hadn't given them the code. And then think about, like, how many sales you get uh, because of that. Like, I know for a fact that we've had several people on this series say that they're buying the game because of our series. Yeah. And so, like, oh, you make it look fun. All we got to do is sell one copy of the game and the developer just earned their money back. So that's why I think it's good business for developers to give the game for free. Uh, but to, to mention that th that is the case with this developer. They did give this game to a lot of YouTubers. They just didn't give it to us. <laughs> but we, we're not on that VIP list. No, we are a smaller channel at 50, you know, almost, 50, I guess we're almost towards 51,000 now. We're moving up there. Uh, but yeah, we are a smaller channel. Oh, okay. This is taking us back to that damn area. Uh, so yeah, we are a smaller channel. Uh, you know, a respectable size channel, though. At 50,000. Road to 100,000. Yeah, we're getting up there, guys. I think 100k is right when you get there, when you made it. You get that little check on YouTube. Oh, and you get your little... Was it play button? You get one of the play buttons, yeah, the like the lowest level play button. Yep. It's still cool. Yeah, it's still cool. I'm just, just mentioning I don't know which one it is. Someday. Maybe in another five years. <laughs> oh shit, what is that, Jinx? The barracks ugly. Alright, so every area has an apex predator. And this is this area's apex predator. It is a barracuda. You've wrecked its favorite hunting ground. So they're you supposed to be challenged, and we'll see if he is or not. So far, neither one of us has been able to hit the other. Yeah, he's <laughs> Alright, so we'll get him, and, and I think defeating the Apex Predators also grants you a uh, evolution. Yeah, hopefully you get his evolution, because it looks like once he, like, sprints by... Mm-hmm. And eh, never mind, it didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just him sprinting through the blue shit. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a phony war, guys. We are, like, not mm -hmm. really really fighting. We kind of want to be friends. Started talking to him. I realized how mm -hmm. much in common we had. Like, there's like, plenty why are of we, fish in this sea. Why are we fighting? Plenty of humans But, munching. you know, I can't allow this guy to make the claim that he's the apex predator in this area. Because he's not. <laughs> I'm the apex predator. Well, he's got yucky old, like, sacks on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the evolutions. There's, like, this one, the lightning one. Well, most recognize it and then the there's that bone. Rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? And then there's this bone evolution one. 
So this set adds damage resistance as most effective for boat combat. Uh, in order to get the bone one, we have to defeat the apex predators. So the lightning one we get from fighting the uh, hunters. And then the bone one we get from fighting these apex predators, apparently. So they want us to check in on Pete. Why don't Look we just kill him? He's fine. Why don't we just kill his I ass? I can hear his banjo from here. <laughs> Does Pete play banjo? I don't know. Uh, so he plays trumpet or some shit. We should probably go back to the grotto though, right? I think we should. Go back to the grotto and uh, where is that? I don't even know where. Oh, it's way over here. Do you think we could reach that? Maybe. We'll try. You know, we can be out of water for a lot longer. Yeah, we'll go back to the grotto and upgrade ourselves. Uh, where the hell is it? Okay, it's right here. So yeah, we're gonna dip out. I'd lose it too if it weren't for the giant glowing buoys. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. All right, so that is kind of far. All right, it looks like we should probably get as close in the water as we can before we go over there. You know what? I think that's underground, actually. Yeah. But maybe you go there through here. Contrary Just hop across the land. The are we drowning <laughs> even in this water? Sure. Yep, we are. Oh no! Come on, get out Hurry. of there! Hurry! Puddles are not enough. Nope, apparently. that's not enough. <laughs> not enough water, guys. Man, I thought there was water there too. Yeah, I thought we had it. Uh, we it looked saved like ourselves. It. All right, so we need to figure out how to get in there to get that. Just gonna eat a catfish, a little snack. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Is there a grate around here? Okay, there's a grate right there. I think that's where we need to go into this one, perhaps? Nope, not that no. one. Nowhere to go in there. It's that one right there. All right, so let's see the catfish. Nom, 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 there's nom, an nom. albino barracuda <laughs> in there, too. So we'll go, We uh, should free it. Hmm. This doesn't seem like it's going the right way, guys. Unless this wraps around this way, which it does not. Yeah, that just keeps going the wrong way, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I feel like this is not the way we need to go if we want to get that. I don't like swimming down around in the tunnels. How come? I'm worried I'll get lost <laughs> and then drown. Jinx is acting like she's the one playing. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to get lost. I get so invested. Maybe you do need to go that way. Unless you go through one of these other tunnels, which maybe that's the case. Uh, let's just go through this one because I don't, I don't know that we've actually been down here before, so there might be something good. And plus, there might be nothing at all. We'll get Jinx all worried and scared, thinking we're gonna drown. No, we're gonna drown. <laughs> we're gonna drown in doo doo water. Is that how you wanna go? No, not really. There's the albino catfish. Yeah, it did wrap around here. Okay. Oh, no, that's uh not the same area. Right, we're just gonna avoid him. Maybe, unless he, he messes with me. Oh, there's a gator here. Oh, We're gonna try to avoid fighting these guys. Is a regular gator? Yeah, it's just a regular gator. Just a little, a little level eight gator. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. That just brought us right around here, guys. All right, so apparently we need to get into the elder gate, I think, uh, in order to uh, get through there. Whatever, that's fine. Let's go ahead and fast travel. We can't. We're considered to be in combat right now. Is that Stupid the jerks that following us slowly. Mm-hmm. That gator's still following us. Still can't do it. You got a taste for shark, but... Mm-hmm. You saying he wants to eat my butt, Jinx? I think he does. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> well, he better buy me a couple shark. drinks <laughs> first. <laughs> All right, so we are in the grotto. Let's go ahead and do some upgrades, guys. So the thing we got was that jaw, the new jaw, the bone teeth. Ew. That's not what it looks like, I don't think. I think that's what Ew, it looks like, Jason. That's terrible. So this gives you plus 5% thrash damage and plus 12% boat bite damage bonus. That does make sense. Yeah, so it lets you do more damage against a boat. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's something we might want to use sometimes. Uh, but I don't think we're going to use it right now, guys. I think we'll keep this one because we have upgraded it and stuff. Well, and that one's unsightly. What, this one? Yeah. I like it. That's like what I look like when I was five. <laughs> and big old horse teeth. I was going to say little old head, but I had a big yeah, head back big then, head. too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and upgrade this uh, sonar since we have plenty of the what, what we've been calling protein. 
Uh, is that fully upgraded now? Oh, no, it's not. Of course it's not. I don't think it's necessary to upgrade this any further, but we will. Though, what I want to see is, does the bone... Okay, so the bone uses the blue stuff. Mm -hmm. And the electric uses the yellow stuff. So I'm going to take a guess that the last one uses the red stuff. Okay. So we could get another sonar, I guess, because... We're probably not going to need it for anything else anytime soon. Let's yeah, we've get it. been needing something that uses the red stuff. Have we? There's there's nothing. Well, we had a little stockpile of it until you bought that. Yeah, we have a... We, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. That we needed something to spend yeah, it on. Yeah, something to spend it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we did. All right, so let's go to the check on Pete mission. So basically, we kind of ran ahead of the... Uh, the story. Yeah, we did a bit. Well, because I thought you needed to be an adult to do that one mission. Mm -hmm. Which I thought was kind of silly that you needed to be an adult just to do a, a mission where you ate. Just ate some groupers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just was confused because we didn't even bother going in there to see if we needed to be an adult to do it. Alright, so let's go check on Pete. We could also try and kill another one of those hunters. Yeah, I don't know about that. What do you mean? They've been pretty <laughs> easy so far. And Candy this will man. give us the uh, adrenal, adrenal gland. Adrenal gland. I can't speak, but yeah. God, this is, the PlayStation hates this yeah, the uh, menu. the menus. Yeah, really doesn't like them, so guys. You don't need to know what you're doing or where you're going. Oh, we need to go this way. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to get the adrenal gland. I want to see what that does. Shark stinks. All right, so the uh, uh, the sonar now really detects quite far away, and we can use it quite often as well. You see how quickly the uh, yeah how the cooldown is. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel like we need to upgrade any further, honestly. I don't either, because like you can't really see that far out anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does have the advantage of it. It'll locate like. You know, different things for you that you might not see, mm -hmm. uh, like collectibles and, and uh, other stuff. But, yeah, I feel like this is probably high enough. I don't know if we need to spend any rare resources on it right now. All right, so this is where we need to be to do this mission, guys. Remember, this is a story mission, so we're really going to have a nice little cut scene here. Figure out what Pete's been doing. Nothing. He's been knitting. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can bend and tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. How oh, sad. I know. A I'm man that, like, you know... Never close to his father and misses him and never really got to know him. And his daddy probably never hugged him and told him that he loved him. And then he's going and doing the same Just damn like thing LeBlanc, to his own child. Is the of a long yeah, but at tradition. least his child's Struggle going to, to college to better his life. World. Yeah, but I mean, like, he doesn't have any relationship with his father. His father probably treats him like garbage. I mean, you can see the way he talks to him. Yeah. It's just, it's a vicious cycle, guys. It's a vicious cycle. Break the cycle. Yeah, that's what I did. I said I wasn't going to be like that with my kid. You know? Uh, you know, my son is is not me. 
He's not like me. Uh, we are very different. Uh, and, you know, I don't care. You know, and let him be who he wants to be. You can always try and push him in a certain direction, try and motivate him yeah, to do... Yeah, you can influence yeah. them for sure. Like, you know, because that's their, you know, when they're very young. Uh, I feel like some of the things that a kid ends up loving is just the things that you show them, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and if they don't love it when you show it to them, then that's their choice. But sometimes all you need to do is just show them something. And they'll get into it and talk to them. And if you're into it, then they'll be into it too. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you can certainly influence your kids by doing such things. But uh, other than that, you know, and they're going to be the, their own person. And you got to accept that. And you can either push them away, you know, you know, just kind of push them away. And then they, they end up hating you because, you know, they're not the type of person you want them to be. Uh, or you can, you know, appreciate their differences and love them for who they are, who they are, and then just try and, uh, where the fuck are we supposed to Help go? Help them be the best version of themselves yeah, that they want to be. exactly. And, and, you know, play a role in the things they care about is what I'm trying to say. You know, maybe if they're into something you're not into, then maybe get into that, you know, so you can, you know. Yeah, spend time with them and stuff. Yeah, yep, Exactly. We're going to attack this just because... I think we're going to go ahead and get one of those other guys out. Because I want the, uh... The thing. The adrenal. I want the adrenal gland, Jinx. Yeah, but I I could see why you might want to get that bone upgrade before you did this, though. Mm hmm So that you can chomp on both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it'd be a little bit better. A little bit easier, I should say. Alright, so let's go and take out this... It'd be harder to talk, though. With the bone teeth? Yeah. I don't know, because with this one, we got some big old gums. Yeah, that's true. And mm -hmm. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we bite our, our little shark lips all the time. Yeah. And those, uh, uh, the teeth we got in right now are sharp. Mm hmm They're really sharp. All right, we got to look for some humies, guys. Oh, there's a canoe. Take out Get the canoe. Out. <laughs> that was too much fun. All right, so they're looking for us. We got to destroy the canoe, though. Or else somebody else will find it. Mm hmm. And then they'll paddle around. away. Is that them right there? Or are they out oh, there attacking me? Oh, they got bombs and shit now? Alright, so let's go and take these guys out. Try and get our infamy up to level 4 so that we can get the next uh, hunter boss out here. Yeah, and they're serious. Yeah, they're getting a little bit more serious now, like, guys. Get out of here, shark. Mm hmm. You got like shotguns or something. Well, how long could a shark, like, ravage of people before they would, uh, take it yeah, extremely know, serious? Right? Mm-hmm. You know how people get when we mm -hmm. feel threatened. Uh, we're the apex predator of this planet for a reason. <laughs> yeah, a shark bites somebody's foot off and we're like, we'll we go must kill, the, kill every yeah, shark Yeah, we'll kill a hundred sharks. I don't know which one of you's got a foot in your belly, but I'm gonna find out. Yep. God, this is, like, insanely fun, man. <laughs> Just like fucking these hunters up. It is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would to uh, get the uh, infamy up, though. Munching, crunching. Well, no, the infamy is not going up as quickly as it was before. Maybe I'm just not eating enough of the hunters. Oh, wow. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. It was serious, whatever it was. Maybe my electrical attack or something hit on that the ship right at that moment. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we're the fucking American these boats up. Flag. Nothing sacred. <laughs> Not to this Tiffany. shark, Jinx. <laughs> uh, Tiffany, man. Come on. This boat destroyed. I may switch between Tiffany and Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, I guess they both work. <laughs> I need to start spinning a little bit more. I'm not spinning enough, Jinx. Do we gotta increase the spin. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. The cotton was there falling. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got it up a little over halfway, guys. Well, shit, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you was trying to grow legs. <laughs> yeah, we got that guy. Ate him. Oh, they're fucking us up this time. We should probably just uh, submerge for a second and find a, a fish to eat. Oh, there's a hunter we can snack on. <laughs> was he hiding <laughs> under the boat? No, nah, I think he was, was dead. He there's a lot of oh, dead animals around yeah. here from... I suppose. Oh, oh no. I guess we're, uh, oh, we're not losing infamy. Right, let's, let's actually eat all these hunters. So there's a lot of dead hunters in the water that I hadn't eaten yet. 
I'm like, good grief. Oops, sorry, guys. My ring, my uh, wedding ring smacked up against the uh, controller a little hard there. Come on. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> I get up on here and kind of stay on the surface and do our spinning. I feel like I've been doing as well against them, but it's also taking a lot longer. I think it takes longer with how high of a level you're trying to get it up to. Yeah, true. I'm gonna get the boat destroyed. I know, right? I love how he jumps off the boat like that. A little dramatic mm -hmm. like. I was trying to find him so I could eat him. We need a snack. We do need a snack. He's like, ah, yeah, my trigger finger. <laughs> Come on. Bitch. All right, so there we go. We'll snack on those guys who are falling in the water here. Come on. Oh, there's still some hunters out here in the water to be eaten. There we go. Level All 13 right. reached, but we still haven't detracted the hunter yet. Reach growth stage. Oh, okay. Thought we uh, leveled up again. I was like, man, we weren't adult very long. Yeah, we got all we old all quick, too. prematurely. Well, we did level up. Yeah. To level three. Just chasing these boats. Feels like they're running from me. Cowards. Maybe they are. They should be. I would not be fucking with be, this yeah. shark. I'm like, mm, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. You can have that. I don't want to. Billy go Bob viral and George. <laughs> there we go. Candyman Curtis is here now. Damn. Candyman Curtis. So he's the first one that's not in the band. So we've killed all the band members of the shark killers. Mm -hmm. And so Candyman Curtis, he's the first one that might be a real hunter. He's got like a actual boat. And he's got like a bunch of crew members. <laughs> Bag full of explosions. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. He's passing out like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. A bomb for you, <laughs> a bomb for you, Damn. two bombs for His you. His boat certainly takes a lot of damage, guys. You've been extra good this year, Billy Bob. Come on, come on, come on. Where's that hunter that fell in the water? We need to eat some of these guys. Because we are hungry. Yeah, they're doing some damage to us, guys. Mm -hmm. This is not, not a, they're not playing. Well, there's enough of them. Mm -hmm, they can, can do that. certainly the... cause some trouble. Well, if you're not spinning either. Because they can't target you when you're spinning, which is why I do that if you didn't know. When you spin, they the target resets. So you gotta like constantly be spinning here. We've almost got his boat destroyed. But yeah, this is when you, you take the fuck off. I think the other thing that's getting us is all these damn bombs they're throwing. Yeah, there's that too. Alright, so we've gotten the adrenal gland. We should probably take off. Did I eat him? That's what's important. We can't let him get away, guys. Did he get eaten? I don't know. Didn't I'm not seem seeing like him float. It. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. He's dead, but Dang. he's not eaten. We're just going to leave him. Mm hmm. You can't leave him For like some that. Another fish to get. Yeah. Evolution. That's, that's our kill. Well, we got the evolution as soon as he died. Apparently, you don't need to eat him for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is go back to the grotto. And take a look and see what this new evolution is. I guess we could also just look in here and see if it's even something we want. I think it's an organ. Uh, so it is... Oh, okay. This evolution increases your speed when you're badly injured. So it gives you 10% uh, max speed, 10% evade speed, 10% lunge speed, 10% acceleration bonus, and 10% swim speed. That's a lot of speeds. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice, but I don't see how it's better than the rest of these, honestly. But you wanted it so bad. Yeah. I mean, well, we needed to get it anyway in order to get the next thing. The next thing is the bioelectric fins. That sounds cool. Yeah, that does seem pretty cool. So we might want to go for that, but they want us to go to the new area. So let's go ahead and do that, the oh, area shit. that we've been in. Is that an albino? It Sneaky is. Pete. We're gonna have to fight them. That's a lot of uh, green points probably that we can get from them. Although, hopefully they're not gonna catch us right while I'm in the hunters, right while I'm in the middle of this fight with the skater. Yeah, that would be really annoying. We are actually a higher level than this guy now. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Like, mm -hmm. They're a lot easier to kill. Yep. 
All right, so yeah, that gave us a good little chunk of green stuff. Uh, so let's go and mark our uh, mission. Oh, we've already done that. And start heading over to it, though we can't head directly over to it. We need to go this way. All, All right. kinds of nice trash art installations. Huh? The buoys. Uh-huh. <laughs> And everything all wrapped up in it. I can't even imagine the critters that would live in something like that. Mm -hmm. That would terrify me. I would never go in the water. I'd be worried like a whole sea of like trash or seaweed would float up. <laughs> Crazy so you said ass the, critters. You said the critters, but you're really just worried about the trash. In the seaweed. <laughs> That's all Jinx seaweed is actually just worried wants about. To grab your ankles. <laughs> The damn seaweed gas. One time when I was swimming in a lake, though, I did find $20. Oh. It wrapped itself around my ankle and scared the living shit out of me. It ended up being <laughs> a bit of treasure, though. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck has got me? Shores was it was built money. On an elevated coastal hazard area. And while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. Jinx ends up finding money all the time, though. That's not true. Not like all the time. We're gonna kill this guy now that we're high level. Oh, fucking Makos. Come on, I can't. S there we go. I'm trying to stun him. Oh, when then I fought the fish <laughs> instead, guys. <laughs> and who's gonna put the elbow down on you? Mm hmm. The fish. Oh, he's trying to get away now, elbows. guys. <laughs> <laughs> put the fin down on you, you Jake. Put the fin down. Yeah, they are quick. Did you know the Mako shark is the fastest shark? In the world, I they did. can go 65 miles per hour. Yeah, that's crazy. That's fast. insane. And it's 60 or 65, somewhere around there. I might have threw five miles per hour on there just for make it more impressive. For cool factor. But that's pretty impressive, guys. That's a that's really fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know they were that fast. I knew they were really fast. But yeah, I didn't know they were that fast. Good well, God. I knew that they were that fast because I think in the Hungry Shark or whatever, mm -hmm. it was like a fun fact. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. And then I had looked it up because we were talking about how to pronounce it because I was saying Mako and mm -hmm. you said Mako. Yeah. And then we looked it up and I think it is Mako. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, it's a fast, Every fast shark, food. No matter how small or docile, mm -hmm. is anatomically a potential source of danger. So, a lot of people have been commenting about the uh, voice actor uh, for the, uh, what would you call it? Narration? Narrator. Yeah, I guess yeah. narration. And that is Chris Parnell, which is a uh, comedian. Uh, Jinx knows him from SNL. I recall some of his SNL skits, but I, I didn't... He's on there forever. Yeah, I don't really remember that many of them, though. Mm -hmm. I remember him from movies. He's, he's been in a bunch of movies. Uh, he's also been... Well, he's been in a lot of stuff, really. Kind of been in a couple shows. God damn it. I kind of quit watching it by the time he mm -hmm. started on SNL. Because it stopped being funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, once some of the, like... Uh, you know, the OGs left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know. I guess there's OG, and then there's OG, OG. Yeah, true. <laughs> like Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. I should say, like, you know, from, you know, the time while it was still good OGs. True. Uh, so, like, Will Ferrell. Yeah. Will Ferrell's great. I didn't like some of the, the people that were on it, though, like, uh, during that time period. Mm -hmm. Like, I never liked Jimmy Fallon. No. I still don't like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, I don't really like him either. I've just never found him funny. And then when he was on SNL, he could never keep a straight face. He was always laughing the whole time. Well, he's like that, too, on his show. Mm -hmm. like on the talk show, he's all, like, ADD and... Yeah, he doesn't let anybody <laughs> talk. Yeah. yeah, people always... The, the famous people who go on his show always complain about the fact he never lets anybody talk. Like, he interrupts mm -hmm. them all the time. It's the Jimmy Fallon show. You're there to see Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he I just never liked him. Show. Hey, you want to listen to me talk? <laughs> it's not even that he talks that much. Is that he does let them talk, but like he doesn't let them finish what they're he saying. He hijacks their story. Yeah, they'll they'll say something, and then he he'll ask the next question before they even finish answering the first one. Where mm. the hell is this stupid mission, man? I'm missing. Okay, it's on land. That's why I'm missing it, guys. Oh, I that okay. It's this called a grumper <laughs> right here. Oh, maybe it's under. Something, I don't know. I feel like the groupers should be called grumpers. They want us to visit the grotto. Okay, I see what's going on here. You got some weird, like, 
lagging or whatever. Hmm. How do we get to oh, the grotto? Follow the the umbilical cord. Yeah, you'd think it would be somewhere. There it is. There it is, guys. Okay, so this grotto does look like this. For refuge and quiet reflection. This one's nice. Yeah, so we've been to the grotto here. I can see why we missed it when we came here before we were supposed to. We have two beach balls. Yep. Two of them, and we got our own boat. And we still can't bop them. Nope. No bopping allowed, Jinx. It's a damn shame. All right, so didn't we have something? Remember, you know what? We probably didn't have anything, actually. I was going to say, I think we had something to uh, upgrade. Uh, but yeah, I think we decided to not Just upgrade the advanced range. sonar right now. Can we get the hardy upgraded further? Or we could upgrade this one. Uh, there's also still upgrading the bioelectric teeth, which is another option as well. Uh, looks like we should only do either or. Uh, you know what, guys? I think we're going to keep our some of our points. Uh, I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. And I want to be able to upgrade some of the newer stuff that we're going to be getting. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I don't think we should spend every everything we have. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is actually the end of the episode, isn't it? It is. God, it goes so damn quick, man. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping we'd be able to get a little bit more done. But we did get some story missions done. I think that's what's important. We got the uh, story mission progressed. And the biggest thing is that now we are officially supposed to be in this area. Uh, we know where the grotto is now, so we can make use of that. We've got several story missions to do here now. The uh-oh, better get Mako. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is, uh, we got to find a Mako shark, I assume. And then here, consume 10 dollars? humans. Huh? Our household income is somewhere north of $250,000. Uh, that's how much money people make here. That's how much the Makos make. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... This is consuming 10 humans. And then we have another mission over here to can kill 10 mackerels. And that is all. So those are the three story missions. Uh, I did notice that we have this here. So we can grab this while we do our outro. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Uh, making a little bit of progress on the story. Also, we got our first... Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Uh, we also got our first evolution in something other than the electric tree, so that's exciting. Uh, we got that bone armor. Uh, we're going to wait till we get a few more parts to that, I think. Uh, and then when, you know, maybe when we were fighting hunters, we'll throw it on. Get it upgraded and throw it on. So that's, I think it would be useful to be able to get those boats destroyed a little bit faster. Uh, essentially, it seems like you got to, like, change your evolutions constantly mm -hmm. based on, like, what you're about to get into. Uh, so maybe next time we decide to go after hunters, we'll put the bone armor on. Uh, but yeah, got a few things done. Uh, and if you did enjoy the episode, then make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I'd hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.